The Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office is finally breaking its silence one week after the killing of Sayreville Councilwoman Eunice Drumfor. But the office isn't offering much, saying only there's no ongoing threat to the community, but didn't offer specifics or a motive as the killer remains at large. The 30-year-old mother was found shot multiple times on the evening of February 1st in her car just outside her home in Sayreville. The comments from the Middlesex County prosecutor came just hours before a memorial service for Drum 4 Wednesday evening, where state and local leaders and hundreds from the community were in attendance. Investigators have been especially tight-lipped in this case, even taking significant steps to shield public records from the media. Lewis Hockman is a reporter with Gothamist and WNYC who's been following this story and joins me now. I want to ask you first about the comments the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office uh, gave to reporters yesterday, um, which wasn't a whole lot, but it's all we've been given so far. What did they tell us? It was the first time the prosecutor's office had acknowledged um, something some other borough officials have been saying is that they didn't believe that there was any ongoing threat to the public in the case. They weren't really clear about how they know that. They didn't say if there's a suspect. They didn't say if there's a motive they know about. And no arrest has been made, um, but it's the first they've hinted at, at any sense of what the crime might have been. Yeah, we don't have any indication about a suspect or suspects. Um, but it's also interesting that the office reversed course on a filing they had done in court to keep some of the public records uh, away from the media in particular. Can you update us with what's happening there? Sure. Uh, I and several other reporters and editors had the, uh, the experience this week of finding ourselves respondents in a civil case that sought to preemptively determine that public records that we we were seeking through the New Jersey's Open Public Records Act couldn't be released. Things like 911 calls, um, police transmissions, uh, video that may have been collected as part of the investigation through dash cams or body cams. Um, it's not uncommon for a prosecutor's office or another law enforcement agency to deny those requests if they think that they have an appropriate reason to. If we disagree, we can then challenge and sue them. It is very unusual for them to effectively sue us to stop us from getting that information as soon as we put in a request. Uh, I spoke to some transparency advocates who really thought that was felt like intimidation. It, it felt like it would dissuade members of the public who were entitled to ask for records from doing so because they could think they could get dragged to court. But in less than a day's time, the prosecutor's office withdrew that filing um, and now says they'll respond to us each individually and let us know whether they plan to release anything to us. Was there a reasoning given as to why they made that preemptive move? I think one of the transparency advocates you spoke with called it heavy handed. Um, but I know others um, have said that it creates uh, this uh, air of, of suspicion and, and feeling of lack of transparency within the government. What was the reasoning that the prosecutor's office gave? It really didn't. If you look through the filing as it as it was, it doesn't say in any particular terms why just denying those requests, if they thought that was appropriate, wouldn't be enough, why they they needed this maneuver. Uh, I, I can't speak to whether anything feels suspicious about that. I, I really wouldn't want to speculate that, and, and I don't necessarily think it inherently does. Um, as much as it, it felt unnecessary, it felt like a way to sort of drop a hammer on this request, um, it could have been that they're trying to deal with it expediently. It could have been that they they really want to dispose of it quickly. Um, but we can't really know what their motivations in that are. What we do know is that the prosecutor's office has been basically silent throughout the investigation. Um, they haven't said, as I said, if there's a motive, if there is a suspect, if there's a person of interest. Um, they The prosecutor yesterday defended that. She said that's appropriate. I've spoken to some borough officials who also believe that's appropriate. You know, let them do their job, don't interfere. Um, but we haven't been able to get many answers from that direction. Yeah, and, and according to your reporting, no expense is being spared um, in terms of this being made a priority for that office. Lewis Hockman with The Gothamist, uh, thank you so much. Thank you.